part two, decided to make this into two parts. It was getting too long. So it's a little choppy, but I split it into my books, um, my library, so you could see some of the books that I have carried with me and some things that have been very meaningful to me and get to know me a little better. And now my little treasure box here. This is tough. This is so random. And I figured, you know what? No harm. A box this size. Just carry it with you. Carry it with you. But you know, literally, it just goes in storage. So let me show you a little bit about what's in here. And maybe you can help me out here to figure this box out. Because it's just too much. It's not something that I'm ever going to look at until maybe I'm on my deathbed, you know? So it gets weird. All right. Hope you'll join me books and treasure box today. All right, so we've got everything from, daughter gave me this pencil can that I haven't used in years. We've got a Girl Scout ring from a million years ago. Yeah. Can you see that? We've got Celebrate Recovery Chips here. My grace is enough for you. Oh gosh, this one is what, 15, 16 years there? Getting my chips. Sunday school pins. Third year, fourth year, perfect attendance at church when I was growing up, United Church of Christ cross from mom that I don't use. Girlfriend got me this when my first granddaughter was born. Mom got me this in my sobriety. This is sweet pennies that my dad saved for me. This is pins from Creative Memories. I mean nice but it's senseless too you know it doesn't make much sense to keep this kind of stuff 10 year anniversary that means nothing to anybody except me you know and uh <laughs> i don't know how to break it down creative memories yo yo woohoo make america great again trump 2016 someone gave me i don't have no idea why i have that some jewelry from my mom. I know I could decorate something with it, but I don't even remember her wearing it. So what's the point, you know? She liked pins, but okay, so what, you know? Uh, some gold broken jewelry. And this is not real gold, because I've already sold that. Now here might be a keeper. I don't know. Someday somebody will find maybe my grandkids, you know? Who knows? Maybe I'll be around for great-grandkids. This was my first Bible, I believe. For confirmation, maybe I was given this. Is it signed in the back? I don't know. And yeah, one of the office guys is here and told me I could maybe make some money at a garage sale. But you know what? We're over that. We've done all those. Now that we have nowhere to set one up except at a flea market where you pay for a table, this is a weird thing that my kids played a million times with, and so I kept it. Hey guys, obviously I need some help here. A charm bracelet, Color Guard 1973, 71 to 73. That will mean nothing to my daughter, right? She's not going to hold on to this and say, oh, this was mom's. We were uh, bulldogs in high school. Here's a telephone, because I like to talk. Yeah. Here's a paint palette that Mom got me to put on my charm. Going to Tennessee. The kids made me these bracelets. I think Kara, my daughter, put these together. Let's see, this stone says friend on it. Don't know who gave that to me. All right, too much, too much. One day at a time. One little box seems to be no harm, but when you want to downsize everything 
and you don't want to just shove stuff in a storage never to be looked at again except when you're going through it this kind of makes no sense right so all right this one's weird you know accept my resignation as an independent consultant 2013 I was in good standing thank you for giving me the opportunity to build a successful career over the past 23 years you know that's all well and good but like so what <laughs> Okay, guys, help me out here. You know I need some help. All right. Uh, I may show you the finish here. I'll put post the finish in both videos. Um, and then, as you can see, we've got a long ways to go here. My organized chaos that I brought, brought everything to the front to work on later. Fun reminisce for half a second here. Executive Women of Westmoreland. I belong to a networking group. Oh gosh, what, 30 years ago? 40 years ago? Uh, probably 30. Reaching for New Heights in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I went to a business professional women, BPW, and spoke. Wow, that says 19, 1998. Wow. My daughter was like 10 years old. I belong to National Speakers Association. Whoopee. I got this, I guess, as a server somewhere when I was serving. Um, Orange County Association of Realtors. Yep. My life. Destination Unlimited award recipient with creative memories all right i don't know i don't think i'm gonna go and there's a ring for mom i love jesus came out of a little flip-flop keychain couldn't throw it away aha look at this i think i found a treasure find joy in the journey yeah i'm gonna keep that one i'm gonna put that in happy haven Oh my gosh. And I'm going to keep this angel. I think I'm going to keep this angel. I don't know. It's a little grody. Maybe it can be cleaned up. All right. Niagara Falls. My daughter and I went to Niagara Falls. This says 2001 on the back. That must have been my little, um, what's that? Zipper pull souvenir. I don't know. I haven't looked at that in 20 years. Yep. And then when I was working in San Diego uh, at a base, my name tag, that's kind of cool. But so what, right? Uh, some Google eyes. Smiley face. I love smiley faces. This is pretty. This says faith on it. I'm going to keep that. You know, that's a Christmas, like a Christmas ornament. That's cool. I could hang that on the door somewhere. Oh, what's this? Parent Partners in Education. I don't know. Something I volunteered or something? I have no idea. All right. Show you a little more. So a few minutes later, I've made some decisions on this stuff. I'm going to throw away these these coins. I'm not into making shadow boxes. Uh, I don't like all this little stuff. Look, I've even got, got the nail clippers from my when my kids were babies. Uh, happy birthday, 2013. Friend across the street painted these sweet little, look at this, this shell and how cute that is. But I'm not really a collector of minis. These have just been sitting in the box. I'm gonna throw away my Arizona driver's license. I'm gonna throw away this pin. Means nothing to anybody. Woohoo, my name. Um, there was uh, a business when I was a motivational speaker and author. Awesome. Um, I think I'm going to see if there's any value in these baby spoons. Uh, this little clicker thing, my dad used to love to do this. It would just click numbers. So I may give that to the grandkids to play with. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. 
uh, an angel pin. My mom was an angel, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to give away the pencil can. My daughter will forgive me, I'm sure, for that. She got me a keychain when she was in New York, and mom is just a precious word. <laughs> but I am going to give that away. Um, the charm bracelets, I'm going to see if there's any value in these. I'm going to sh uh, throw away these these pins. And uh, yeah, now that I have them on the video too, you know, all these creative memories pins all over the place. Um, I'm going to see if somebody wants them. I may try to sell the whole lot for 20 bucks or something. I don't know. My director pin was very valuable. I don't know. There might be some good stones in there, but I'm going to see about selling these things and giving away. I'm going to give the cross away. I don't care for it as a bookmark. I'm going to give this away. Someone might be able to use it. And that's a creative memories pin. How pretty is that? And then I'm also going to give this away. Someone can buy it, what, for 50 cents and give it away as a gift for somebody else. The pins that my mom wore, I'm going to give those away. I'm going to keep this one. I don't know why. I think it's pretty. I like flowers. Maybe I'll be able to decorate something with that. I may even keep this bird, too. I'll just keep two, you know? Two is better than... And all her necklaces and that, I'm going to just give these away. Because I don't really remember. I would rather look at pictures of her with the necklaces. This silver box in here is too busy. It is silver. Um, I don't like the inside of it. You know, it's old. So, away it goes. I'll probably never think about it again. I've got watches that need batteries. And this is a Creative Memories watch. That's going to go... Oh my gosh, Joseph, somebody planted him in my uh, <laughs> yard when I sold my mobile home in Arizona. It hadn't sold for over a year, and then within a week or two, I don't know, he was planted upside down. That's some kind of, I don't know, something that people believe in. I don't know, but the, the mobile home <laughs> sold within like two weeks. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, these gold necklaces, yeah, whatever they are, they were mom's. Those are all going to, I'm going to give all this away. There's a watch in here. You know, I could see if there's any gold in there, but I doubt it. I doubt it. So there you have it, guys. I've worked it out. i got to just let it all go. Otherwise, it goes back in this box, not to be looked at again for another 10 years. And then what, my daughter and son find this stuff and... And it's like, okay, that's nice. And they just pitch it all, right? It means nothing to them. So there you have it. Decision made. Onward. Okay, so it was signed. Mother and Daddy. Hmm. Interesting. What to do, what to do. Haven't opened up this Bible. Or read it, I mean, read through this Bible in forever. Look at this. Mom would get guideposts. And she had that note in there. And a bookmark that's not really a bookmark. And, oh my gosh. Beautiful pictures. The print is too small. And, I don't know. I don't think it's going to mean anything to my daughter, to my kids, and I think I just need to keep with that, give it away, bless somebody else with it. It's old. It's old. Alrighty. I think <laughs> the toughest part of things is over. It should be all downhill from now, except for the photo albums. All right. Second day's progress. Yesterday was a bag of baskets and a bag of clothes. Another bag of clothes today. Suitcase inside a suitcase. They only have like the two wheels, not the four. And I use these, what, once every two years, three years now? <laughs> 
and uh, or or never anymore. And here is an old tub that I'm getting rid of, along with some miscellaneous stuff. It was kind of hard getting rid of some of these Easter eggs because my mom made these. But I, at the end of the day now, I pulled out a couple that my daughter had painted and a couple that mom had done. So yes, I've hit a wall for today. It's about 5.30 and inside Happy Haven, is two broken down tubs and a bag of papers garbage oh and there's a, a bag of books that's going to be going also so that's it for today day three tomorrow gonna hit uh, some more clothes and decorations christmas decorations basically and some more just yaddy yaddy stuff